When I introduce sacral neuromodulation to a patient, I um, describe it by telling them that there is a normal um, nerve connection from the bladder to the brain. And there are different disease conditions or different reasons why that nerve connection can be disrupted. So sacral neuromodulation is essentially a way to restore that normal nerve connection. What's very neat and special about sacral neuromodulation is that there's a trial to see if, um, if it helps. Not everybody's a candidate for it, but the trial is simple and an easy way to see if we can restore that nerve connection from the bladder to the brain. So the analogy I might use for a patient is that if a light bulb was out on the ceiling, it may be the bulb itself that's burned out, it may be the switch on the wall that's not turned on, or it may be the wire between the two. Sacral neuromodulation is affecting the wire between the two. There may be a break in it or a sever in it, and we wanna restore that wire connection from the bladder to the brain. When I'm describing sacral neuromodulation and how it works for the patient, I'll use different analogies. One of the things I do is I keep a big safety pin in my pocket, in my coat pocket at work. And so I pull out the safety pin, I pop it open, and I show them this is what your bladder function is looking like. There's sort of a disconnect between the brain and the bladder. When we do sacral neuromodulation, the idea is to restore that communication. So we close the safety pin and we restore that communication between the brain and the bladder.